Good day everyone. I'm going to explain to you how acid affects the limestone using vinegar. But before that, I'm going to discuss to you what is weathering and chemical weathering. So what is weathering? Weathering is a breaking down or dissolution of the surface of the earth's rocks and minerals. While chemical weathering is a process by which rocks are broken down by chemical reaction. Now, let us proceed to the materials we will be needed for this experiment. We will need two jars and label them for water and the other one is for vinegar. Next, you must have water. Two pieces of limestone or a little amount of cement can be used. And the last one we need is vinegar that will serve as the acid rain. I'm done discussing the materials we needed, so let's hop into the experiment. The first step that we need to do is put the vinegar in the first jar. After we put the vinegar in the first jar, we need to put the water in the second jar. And the last step, we need to place one piece of limestone in a jar with vinegar. As you can see, acid may dissolve parts of some calcium-based rocks. As it release carbon dioxide gas and now we will let it set there for a day. After a day, we can see that most part of our rock in the jar with vinegar has been dissolved. While on the other hand, the rock inside the jar with water remain the same. And that sums up our experimentation about chemical weathering. See you! Good day everyone! Today I will show you a very easy and cool experiment. Baking soda volcano experiment is one of the most popular experiment because it stimulates a real volcano eruption. So I'll show you an example of an acid-based reaction between baking soda and vinegar that represents of how does a volcano erupt. Before we start, I would like to share to you what is sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda or bicarbonate of soda is a salt composed of a sodium cation and a bicarbonate anion. Sodium bicarbonate is a white solid that is crystalline but often appears as a fine powder. The food color represents the magma or lava, so we will use red color. In the beaker glass, we will mix all our ingredients. While this wine is a vinegar that known as a condiment or preservative, on the other hand, it is an aqueous solution of acetic acid and trace chemicals that may include flavorings. In this experiment, let's see what will happen when the vinegar is combined with baking soda. These are the things that we need to use for this experiment. Even this experiment is simple, you have to be careful. Don't forget to wear protective gloves and safety gears. Let's start! The first thing that we need to do is to put the baking soda in the beaker glass. After putting the baking soda, we will add food color for us to see a realistic magma or lava. Now that we have baking soda and food coloring inside the beaker glass, we will now add the vinegar. A chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda creates a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the same type of gas used to make the carbonation in sodas.
the red lava is the result of a chemical reaction between the baking soda and vinegar. In this reaction, the carbon dioxide gas is produced. Pressure builds up inside the baker glass until the gas bubbles out the volcano. Baking soda and vinegar react with each other because they exchange atoms. In this reaction, baking soda acts as a base and takes a proton from vinegar, which is an acid. The reaction releases gas because when the baking soda receives the proton, it transforms into water and carbon dioxide. Now, you already know how does a baking soda and vinegar react to each other. And of course, you saw what happens during a volcanic eruption. I hope you learned something for today's experiment. Remember, before doing this experiment, make sure you are with your guardian so they can help you in executing this experiment. Thank you for watching!